Poverty is not inevitable, nor is it an individual failing. It is the result of government policy choices that fail to provide viable pathways out of poverty that abandon and leave people behind. Poverty puts safety, health and well-being at risk and undermines the values of equality, dignity and choice to which we collectively aspire. Poverty excludes people from contributing to their communities, to their full potential, in ways that impoverish all of us. For these reasons, in terms of human, social, health and economic well-being, it is the cost of failing to address poverty, poverty, not the cost of support measures that Canada cannot afford. As we approach the second anniversary of the pandemic, the need to revisit the Senate's 50-year-old recommendation regarding guaranteed livable basic income is more urgent than ever. Canada is reckoning with a COVID-19 toll of illness and of death indisputably shaped and defined by income inequality and a status quo that has allowed billionaires to amass incredible wealth at a time when millions are struggling without the economic means to stay safe and healthy and with pandemic response measures that have yet to reach those below the poverty line in a meaningful way, despite Canada's stated intention of ensuring recovery for all. Bill S-233 would respond by implementing a framework to make a guaranteed livable basic income a reality. Canada's current approach to poverty is leaving millions behind. According to the government's own 